everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then i welcome you if you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that then certainly hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and jump into this video so as y'all can see by the title today i am coming to you all with an mcm reveal y'all it has been so long since i've shopped mcm um, I actually hadn't picked up anything from the outlet since September of last year. And that's saying a lot, y'all, especially considering the fact that the brand is actually my favorite luxury brand. So, yeah, y'all, it's been a little minute. I was well overdue for an MCM purchase. <laughs> the essay that I used to work with at MCM is no longer employed with the brand. So I kind of felt like I was kind of in the wild for a second. But I do want to actually shout out Frankie over at the MCM Cabazon outlet location. He reached out and introduced himself to me y'all a while back. And I immediately got this really positive vibe from him y'all. So I knew that when I was ready to purchase, I was going to go ahead and just purchase through him just to see how we connect and if he was going to be my next essay. And y'all, let me tell y'all, Frankie, he definitely delivered. Y'all hear me? He really delivered. So, you know, from the very beginning, you know, with me finding an item that I like, letting him know about it, he was on it, y'all, jumped on it. When I asked him for photos, because I'm not near an MCM outlet, he was on it with the photos. He even sent me a video of the bag that he would be sending me, y'all. So I was like very wowed by his responsiveness and also by the way he just took the time to send all of these details to me to make sure that I was getting a bag that would meet my expectations. So yeah, it really just warmed my heart just to know that he take care of his customers, you know? So that definitely left a positive impression on me. Even before the bag even arrived to me, I was just like, yep, he's my essay, he is my essay. <laughs> so shout out to the MCM team over at the Cabazine Outlet. Um, shout out to management and shout out to Frankie. I am actually gonna go ahead and insert the unboxing, y'all. So let's go ahead and take a look. So now y'all see what I'm talking about. That is what I call some amazing packaging. Like they really took care of my bag. And I don't know how many pieces of like paper I pulled out. I kind of lost count after like the fourth one, I think. <laughs> But um, I was just amazed at that packaging. So thank you for the MCM Cabazon team for just taking care of me. And now y'all, without further ado, I want to go ahead and show y'all my baby. So this here, y'all, is my newest MCM bag. And this bag is everything, y'all. So this is actually the MCM Aaron Tote in this acid green animal print. And this bag is so gorgeous, y'all. And I must say, this here material, it is canvas, but it reminds me of the MCM canvas from like five, six years ago when the canvas was super thick and very textured. Like, I just love it. And I'm gonna try to show you all a close up too so that you all can really see the texture in this bag. Like, it is so, so good. Um, as you can see behind the animal print, it does say MCM on it. Very, very nice. So this bag, y'all, is one that is outside of my comfort zone, but I wanted to just step outside of the box and get something that I typically wouldn't gravitate to. And when I tell y'all that was like one of the best decisions I could have ever made, I am actually currently in this bag, y'all, and I have been carrying it 
for six days now and it has just been an amazing carry. It's such a conversation starter too. Like so many people stop me asking me about my bag. Um, I did post this bag on Instagram too and some of you even reached out to me and asked me how you can get your hands on this bag too. So I do hope that you guys were able to get your hands on this bag because I believe that it is now sold out y'all. It is now sold out because it's just that good. Yeah, just to go ahead and show you around the bag, it does have this white leather um, trimming on it. And y'all, I was not intimidated by the white whatsoever. Like, I wasn't intimidated by it whatsoever. And I've been carrying this bag, like, everywhere. I'm taking it on shopping trips. Um, I took it to the movies. She's been in and out of the rain. Like, she's just been to so many different places, y'all. And she's just been doing so well. So even the bottom of this bag is all white, but as y'all can see, even the bottom is still looking really good. And I don't want to turn it up too much since I have my stuff in it. And there go the corners. So let's see. I haven't really looked at the bottom of the bag, y'all, since I purchased it, but just looking at the corners, even the corners are looking good. I don't have anywhere on the corners whatsoever. Now, I did get like a little spot on this leather at one point and all I did was take a baby cloth and wipe it and it wiped right off with no issues at all, y'all. So another reason why I love this bag, y'all, is because it reminds me a lot of my Liz totes. It just doesn't have the leather strip going down the middle here or the gold plate on it. But you can still scrunch it up on the sides and it does come with a silver hardware, which I love has silver rivets here so very minimum hardware rivets there and they do have MCM on them and once I actually take all my items out of the bag I'll show you all um actually I can show you now I'll show you now how it looks stitched in so ooh, make sure I don't hit my hit it with my lip gloss because we don't want or not lip gloss lipstick we don't want lipstick on the bag but this is how it looks cinched in. Isn't that such a nice look too? Yeah, I'm just so, so happy that I have this bag, y'all. And with this color too, it actually matches up very well with my Steve Madden Lime shoes that I have. And this color is also pretty much the exact color as my Furla Lemon bag that I have too. So yeah, I'm so glad that it's that color because I really like that green, that green neon color. This bag here is, believe it or not, very easy to style. So like what I have on today, I feel like goes really good with this bag. Um, I'll also pop in another picture too, cause I carried this bag over the weekend. I had on like a cute little orange crop top with some jeans and then I rocked my Ugg sandals, my Zuma sling sandals, and it looked really well put together with that as well. So yeah, y'all. I did not realize y'all how many like clothing pieces I have that would go with this bag. But surprisingly, this bag is so easy for me to style. So yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. I wanna show you all um, the items that I have in this bag as well. And so let me turn it this way. So we actually just got back from the movies, y'all. So um, this bag is, it, it's pretty stuff. It has everything that I would need in it and some. Typically, I do also carry my Dooney and Burt Murphy backpack with me too to store Kaya's items, but I didn't do that this go around. I just used my bag and just put like things that he would need in here too. So to get started, y'all, the first thing that I have in here is this nice pop of color. And it is this MCM coin pouch, y'all, in this bright neon color. I just love this thing, y'all. I think it's so gorgeous. And I thought it was a nice pop of color against this bag too. But with this coin purse, y'all, I pretty much just use it to hold my coins. So that is pretty much all I have in there. And let me see if I can kind of adjust the camera so that you all can still see this bag here too. Okay, yeah, that's good. So then the next thing that I have in here, y'all, is my antibacterial hand spray in the color Cucumber Melon. And I just love the scent, y'all. It is, it smells really, really good. 
And then the next thing that I have in here, y'all, are my keys as well as my pepper spray. And I attached it to this Victoria's Secret wristlet. I thought that this wristlet was really, really cute to go with this bag too, y'all. And again, at, like I usually do, at the end of the um, me showing y'all everything, I'll also put in the picture so that you all can see how like all of my accessories came together. But yeah, I just thought that was so cute. Now, with us going to the movies, I did bring some candy. <laughs> so these are my Mike and Ike's, Kyan and I were nibbling on these, y'all. And yeah, they were so good. These are actually, are these new? Yeah, they're cherry assorted fruit flavored candies, Mike and Ike's. Yeah, this was really good. I really enjoyed this. And y'all, let me tell y'all, we went to go and see Kong and the, the new Kong and Godzilla movie. It was so, so good. If you haven't went to go and see that, I highly recommend that you do. And y'all, Kion, he did so good in the movies. I'm gonna pop in a little picture of him, y'all. But he was just chilling there watching. He's just a little man. I just love... I love seeing him grow up, but I'm also sad at the same time because he's just growing up too fast. <laughs> too, too fast. So also in the corner here, y'all, I just had Kyan's little items. Um, we did use one diaper while we were out, so I just had one left. And then I also had his um, wipes there too. And then the next thing that I have in here is my little snack bag, or I guess kind of snack bag. So, cause I have, um, Trident gum in there, and then I just had some gummy bears. Let's see. Also had some little um, snake candy gummy bears. And then these here too, these are really good y'all. These are gummies too, but they're called um, Happy Cola. And they were really good. So I just had a few packs of those in here. I did have my sore throat drop in here, and then I also had a drink mix in here too. I did have two in there, but we did use one while we were out. So that's all that I had in this little pouch here. And this pouch, I love y'all. This is actually a little Ziploc bag that I was gifted from Suz What? And it's really, really good. It came in a pack of six, I believe, or maybe 10. But yeah, I'm definitely getting my use out of those. I love it. Um, so that's pretty much all the loose items that I had in the bag, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all at a glance how everything is looking now. Okay, so then the next thing that I had in here is this Juicy Couture Cosmetic Pouch. And within here, y'all, this pretty much just held my cosmetics. So I did have um, my Josie Maron Oregon Infinity Intensive Creamy Oil. This stuff is so good, y'all. It's like Vaseline on steroids, literally. Like it really does moisture your whole entire body. I love it. I even use it on my face too at times and it, it really does what it needs to do. Um, and then I have my Bobbi Brown Crush Oil Fuse Gloss in the color Free Spirit. Really love that stuff. Um, I have my Lacombe Idol Mascara. Ooh. My Juvia's Place Lip Liner. I have my Benefit Cosmetic Brow Pencil. My Ilia mas uh, or Ilia eyeliner, and then y'all, I don't know why I have two mascaras in this bag. I actually stopped using that Look Home one. Now I have uh, started using this one here. This is the Ilia one, the one that I love, and I have it in the bigger size, the mascara. So I love this. It goes on really, really good. And then I did have my mirror in here, my little bling mirror. I have my Boxum Full Force Gladiator Lipstick. And this is a really pretty shade, y'all. I'm not wearing it right now, but it is a really nice, like, uh, purple hue. I like it. Very, very nice. And then the next thing I had in here is my Poopery. And I'm almost done with this, y'all. Once I finish this one up, I want to get the Slim size ones I saw on my sister DJ King's video she actually had the slim profile of the poopery so I need to find that because I, I like that that size um and then I did just have a nail file thrown in here I have some nail glue I have more lipstick this is the for danger by Mac y'all know I love my burgundies like that the burgundies are my go-to I think it looks really nice on my skin. 
And then I have my little brow shaper, tweezer, it's so little. And I have my fragrance, which is the Heavenly Dream Angel by Victoria's Secret. Y'all know I've been raving about this because it is just so good. I love this fragrance so much. Um, so I have that one in there. And then I'm also using this one too that I actually got as a gift for Christmas. This is the Giorgio Armani um, Aqua de Goya, I think is how you say it. But yeah, I really like this too, y'all. It's a nice floral like well like a nice fresh scent in a sense i wouldn't really say floral so yeah it's really nice i do want to pick up a bigger size in that and then the last thing that i had in here is my little clipper nail clipper so that's everything that i had in my little cosmetic pouch and then i also put this little victoria's secret pouch in the bag too this i kind of use as an organizer in a sense so in the pockets here in the front, the first pocket I just have um, toilet tissue and then I also had my little iWalk charger. And then in the other pocket, y'all, I just had some Lysol and I had some Waikiki Beach Coconut Fragrance. So yes, as y'all can see, I definitely had a lot in this bag, more than I would typically carry every day, but I just wanted to be prepared. You know, I just wanted to be prepared. <laughs> In the inside, I did have my tie to go. I had a toilet seat cover, um, floss picks. I had me some uh, lens wipes, and these are called Nice and Clean, or by the brand Nice and Clean. I do not like these, y'all. They smear on my glasses, so once I use those up, I will not be repurchasing those. Um, I had a little panty liner in here. And then now since it's getting warm, I have to have this in the bag. This is actually my Mario Badesco facial spray. And then I had uh, my, what is this? Scented Tech Wipes. I got these from Ulta around Christmas time. Um, I had another lens wipes in there. And then I had a bandage. And this little thing, y'all, even has, like, pockets on the inside. So I just had, like, a mask in one of the pockets, and that's it. And then I had this pouch inside of it, y'all. And by the way, everything is out of here. But within this pouch, this pretty much kept all of, like, my medicines and everything together. So I did have my little pill case here that has my allergy pills and my Tylenol in it. And then I had some other medicine here. And then I also had my eye dry relief in there too. So yeah, this little thing worked out great to hold all of my medicine in place. And then the last thing that I had in the bag, y'all, is this pouch here. So the awesome thing about this bag too is just like the Liz Tote, it also comes with a pouch as well. And this is actually a nice size pouch. So I really, really love this. Like when I didn't want to carry this whole bag with me, I could just pull this bag out and carry it. So within here, I pretty much had my wallet. Yes, I just pulled out a whole full size wallet. So a full size wallet was in there. And then I had my Clinets, a receipt. I had my card case and this card case here y'all held my like main card so it's more of a neon yellow versus the bag is lime green acid green and then I also had my soap sheets I had another uh, charger my hand cream and this is from Bath and Body Works I had my ink pen in here and it does have a top on it so yeah has a top on it but I thought this was so cute y'all I actually picked this up from Shein on last year and I really like that um and then I have some wet ones hmm. sour patch kids they are not open I think I may have forgotten I had those in there <laughs> and then the last thing I had in here y'all is my fan so the fan has now made its way back into my bag y'all know I like to carry this fan in the warmer months um and let me see so it does have two settings on it two 
settings on it. And then it also has a little flashlight on as well. So yeah, I really, really like this little fan. And that's pretty much everything that I had in this pouch, y'all. So it is like this like uh, cream lining cloth material. Very, very nice. And that's how the inside of the bag is too, y'all. So I'll show y'all that as well. Let me shake it out first. <laughs> but yep, see, that is the interior. Still nice and clean. I don't know how I managed to keep it clean, but yeah, it's still nice and clean. <laughs> And then the awesome thing about this bag too, y'all, is it even comes with this little hook here on the side. Let's see if I can capture it. So it comes with this little hook on the side here. So if you wanted to hook something onto that, you could. You can even hook the pouch onto it. But I'll show you all again to how I cinched up the bag. So I pretty much took this clasp and hooked it onto this like so. And that's how you're able to cinch in the bag. Just like so. So yeah, I am just so pleased with this bag, y'all. Like, I love this bag. This bag has quickly become, like, my favorite MCM tote next to my soft pink MCM lids. That one will always be number one. But yeah, y'all, I just really love this one. And again, I think it's because it just brought back memories of, like, how the canvas used to feel five years ago like it feels thick and sturdy and durable and i feel comfortable in just packing this bag down and just having that peace of mind and knowing that it is it can take a beating like that is that is what it is like it can take a beating so yes i really really love this and of course the print too like it's just it's just a vibe y'all like it is just a vibe so that is that y'all, that pretty much completes this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.